For almost 200 years, Cuthbert was buried on Lindisfarne until another dark wave of invasion swept in from the sea. When the ships of the Danes appeared, the monks took the body of their saint and went in search of a safe resting place. As the millennium approached with all its horrors, with all its fears for the day of judgment on a troubled world, they came to Durham. I feel that Cuthbert would be uneasy about being buried in the cathedral. But I may be quite wrong, but my idea of him, especially when you come here and you see some, a place that's very isolated and very simple and very directly connected with nature, and we have put him, as it were, his remains, in this building. And though we like to think that it's the right thing to have done, and perhaps it is, there's certainly a contrast, whether it's incongruous or not, uh, inappropriate, is maybe a matter of opinion, but that there is a contrast between Cuthbert living here, a very simple uh, life directly in touch with the world as it is, uh, with nature and so on, and where his remains are uh, inside that very beautiful but elaborate uh, product of culture and civilization, the Durham Cathedral. <laughs> There are the occasions in the year when the whole congregation gathers around the shrines and then I'm very conscious, very much so, that from this place, this physical place where these, this person's remains are, uh, this whole edifice sprang. I mean, I sometimes say to visitors that one way of understanding why this building is here is that it's a huge shelter for the shrine of Cuthbert and for the people who were brought here to look after it. Uh, that's its its reason for being here.